it's a new way in week and it is time for a total fresh start and a new way of thinking. Welcome to No Excuses. My name is Mary Fran. This is my place to talk about weight loss, life, fitness, being the most amazing version of me possible. And today we're going to talk a little bit about our week in review. And I'm not going to really talk about much. We've had a really quiet week. It's been very calm, very serene. I did start to move Kiwi into a new place while I was at work. So we're trying something new today. It is Monday and we are going to try to have Kiwi in the hall behind me. He's in from that room. I feel so bad about him being alone and that room gets a lot more cold. So we decided to try to pull him in. And if it works, I'll be able to put him actually against the wall and I'll move furniture around. But I feel like I'm being stared at all day long. But for the most part, it was just a normal routine week. Now, over the last couple weeks, I've talked about a new plan. I've talked about, you know, upping my fiber consumption, doing a little bit of fasting, tracking, and doing all this stuff. And it's just been a real struggle for me to get back into the motivation to do it. And last weekend, I was up really early. I couldn't sleep. And so I was laying on the couch and I read a comment. It was by Gray Wolf Fitness. Check out his channel. I'll put his link in the description below. And he made a comment about, you know what, you need to have that goal to lose weight because I've been just kind of drifting. I want to lose weight and as long as I'm lower, I'm okay. That's awesome. And I've resisted making weight loss goals because it's very difficult to not make those goals and then you feel like a failure. And I sat there and I really started to think about it. So it's super early. Here I am. It's like three in the morning. I can't sleep. And I am watching videos and catching up. And I had to stop because I read Grey Wolf Fitness's comments to me. And he talked about how I need to actually have a time frame on my weight loss goal. He talked about how important that is. And I've resisted this because I don't like to fail. But I realized that when I put a goal, I work so much harder for it. Even if I don't make the goal, I'm closer at the end. I'm not just drifting, twisting in the wind. But thank you, Gray Wolf Fitness, for reminding me of this. I apologize for the video that is so poor, but it was three o'clock in the morning. And I am actually going to start setting myself a goal. One pound a week is a doable goal. And if I don't make it, at least I know I tried. So I'm going to actually really start working on that. Now, why I'm not actually pushing for it right now is because I have gotten so relaxed that while I weigh myself every morning, I weigh myself, I look down, I see the number on the scale, and then I move on. And by the time I actually get out and think about putting it down somewhere, I've forgotten. So I weighed this morning, but I don't really know what I weigh in it. So I'm actually filming this on Thursday and Friday morning before I do anything, I will be weighing and I will be actually marking that down as my new starting weight. And I am going to aim for one pound a week. So the other thing that made me sit back and really think was also in relation to Grey Wolf Fitness. And what it is, is he has his sidekick, Sue, who is always in her videos, they're talking back and forth, and she had a health scare. And they have a video talking about it, trying to encourage other people to know the signs, the symptoms, get help, and try to do what needs to be done. And part of what they were talking about is they were talking about how at a certain age, as a woman, your estrogen starts to go like this, and that's difficult on your heart. The fact that I'm overweight is difficult and it really sat back and made me go, whoa, I'm putting myself at a great risk. And I thought about it and I was like, that's kind of scary. I really need to get myself fixed up and everything was fine. And I, I kind of knew it, but I didn't really hit home until a couple nights later when I was just here and I was fine. And then all of a sudden my head was hurting a little bit and I was actually a little bit dizzy. And 
I mentioned it to Jason and he was like, okay. And I also happened to say that, you know, it happened a couple weeks ago where I had this like little, it wasn't really totally dizzy. It just kind of, it was like, like, woo, something's just kind of off. I was really off kilter. So it happened again a couple nights ago and I mentioned it to Jason. We did check my blood pressure. We checked my pulse. We checked everything because we do have a lot of those things here at home to check. And all of my levels were fine, but it really kind of scared me. And I started to sit back and I'm like, man, if I go to the doctor and they, I might have to change my diet. I might have to change my this and my that and the other thing. And I'm like, well, I want to live. So I will. And it really hit me because I'm just like, if I want to live, I will. If the doctor told me I had a heart attack, I would change my diet. If I want to live and I had diabetes, I would change my diet and exercise. What am I waiting for? Am I waiting for a doctor to say, Mary Fran, you're falling apart? That's what I feel like I'm doing. I'm waiting for a doctor to look at me and be like, you have this, 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 and that wrong with you. And if you don't eat right and exercise and do this, you are going to fall apart and you are going to die. And I don't want to wait for that doctor to have to tell me that. So as I do this restart with my goal of losing that pound a day, I'm actually going to also be sitting here and saying, you know, the doctor hasn't told you you have a heart problem, but you might. The doctor hasn't told you that you're diabetic and you might not be right now, but if you don't get it under control, you might be in the future. I do know I struggle with high blood pressure and I am trying to control it with diet and I am staying at an even kill and my blood pressure has been fine. Thank heavens. But what do I need to do? Do I need to wait until the doctor says this is a dire emergency? So right now, even though the doctor hasn't told me this, I am taking it upon myself to say that the doctor will be telling me this if I don't fix it now. And that's where I'm at. I have to get myself in line because there is a very good chance that these things will happen to me if I don't fix myself. I think it was last summer I did a video that said, get busy living or get busy dying. It's the time I've got to do it. I keep saying I'm going to do it, but I'm not putting me first. And that has got to change. So what is my plan? I'm aiming for one pound a week. I'm still tracking my calories because I can do a lot of damage with my calories. But I am also being a lot more serious with my intermittent fasting. Right now, I can easily do a 16-8 fast and I am doing it as a clean fast with just water during that um, fasting window. I am going to try to push myself into a longer fast. The problem is by lunchtime when that fast is about over, my body is like growling and it's telling me that I'm hungry and that's okay. So I'm breaking my fast at that 16, 17 hour window. It's actually about 17 hours and that's okay. I want to try to push it further but we're going to take baby steps. So I am on track because even though my doctor hasn't told me, I don't want my doctor to have to tell me. Let's just pretend that the doctor has told you it has to be done. Because if someone tells you it has to be done or you're going to die, you're going to do it. So I'm just pretending my doctor has told me that. So it's a new week. Let's see how I do. I am ready. I am confident that I can do this. No excuses.